Sarah Palin, the most powerful politician in the United States. Yes, you heard me right. Sarah Palin, the cornerstone of the Republican Party. Yes, the grand lady of the GOP is the most powerful politician in the United States to this date. I'm actually getting a pretty good kick out of it. I'm listening to Tammy Bruce. She's telling about Obama now running campaign ads against Sarah Palin. I thought Sarah Palin wasn't running. Yes, Sean Hannity, even on his radio broadcast last night, uh, yesterday afternoon, played that audio of that campaign ad that Obama is running against Sarah Palin. You have a sitting president. Yes, you have, well, you seriously have an unconstitutional, undocumented community organizer in chief, but you happen to have a usurper in the White House who is running a campaign ad against a candidate that is not running. As far as I'm concerned, that just makes Sarah Palin the most powerful politician in the United States. Oh, you don't see him campaigning against Mitt Romney. No, you don't see him campaigning against Newt Gingrich. You don't even hear him campaigning against Rick Santorum, nor does he even say a word about Ron Paul. No, the mindset of our Kenyan import is focused straight on Sarah Palin, and so isn't the establishment of the Republican Party. Oh, you know that movie Game Change was done on the premise that Sarah Palin would be seeking the Republican nomination for the presidency of the United States, and they were going to bring that out, yeah, to give you a mindset where you don't trust the, the political savvy of one Sarah Palin. Yes, to try to undermine your competence and the abilities of our Alaskan lassie. Yes, isn't it funny that even the establishment is running against Sarah Palin? Why? Because she's the most powerful politician in these United States, and she's not even in elective office. Yes, Sarah Palin have seriously just ran the White House from Alaska for the last three years. And the only thing Obama has been able to do is fundamentally transform America. Well, I think the real fundamental transformation came when the announcement of Sarah Palin as the vice presidential pick by one John McCain, who would have never, ever garnered enough votes if it wasn't for Sarah Palin. Yes, Sarah Palin, the cornerstone of the Republican Party. Yes, the grand lady of the GOP. Well, I'm Tim Donovan, and I'm on the right. You want to know where I am? Just look to the right. You're going to see me pointing out who the most powerful politician in the United States is, and her name would happen to be Sarah Palin. Oh, baby, oh, GOP, what you going to do? What you going to do in November of 2012, knowing that you will never garner as much enthusiasm as you would have if Sarah Palin had been seeking that nomination? Tim Donovan, right side, and proud. Yeah, baby, holding my head up high. Yeah, kind of like a freaking snob. Yeah, I'm a Palin supporter here on the right side of Kenny Bunk.